you can be very successful without a record deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go on YouTube and see cats that you ain't never heard of in your life, they ain't got no record deal. They got millions and millions and millions of views. They got a fan base. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, they got millions and millions and millions of views. Even without a label, people, they get shows. You know what I'm saying? They really make so much. And that's pretty much, if you ain't no fan of artist, that's pretty much as a, as a, as a, a rapper, singer, whoever in the music business. Pretty much, your show money is really going to keep, keep everything afloat. Uh, Unless you come up with a high ass singer, you're going to get paid for that for the rest of your life. But. But, I mean, you got people like Strain. No, you do not need a record deal to be successful in the rap game. There's people around here that make thousands and thousands of dollars a week on just rapping. Uh, shout out to, like, I, I have to use, I use people that I deal with personally because I don't like to talk on perception. That's not the type of person I am. I only can talk about what I've actually experienced and what I've been through. But, um... Uh, I, I worked with uh, with Boosie the last probably like the last year before he went to jail, and I seen him make five hundred thousand dollars cash money. You know what I'm saying? And he's one of the people who do who does actually have a, a, a mainstream deal. But when I first started working with Boosie, it had been probably two years since his last album dropped, and he was really thugging. He was a, he was a rapper with a deal, but he was thugging on the independent level. He didn't have no videos or nothing like that on BET those two years after his album dropped. Boosie got it out the mud and did it on his own and was and kept himself hot by dropping mixtapes and, and and he started moving on without the label. So that an artist can definitely achieve what one may consider mainstream status, but that's defined in so many different ways and levels because mainstream to a local artist in the city of Baton Rouge may be having their song on MTV Jams or having a song featured on 106 in Park, but that's a simple business act mainstream to a person like an artist that has seen some national recognition may be you know interviewing on MTV or touring all over the country and that may be mainstream but the true definition of mainstream in the music sense is an artist that can cross over to various channels of music whether it's R&B, rap, hip-hop, top 40 you know those are all things that are considered that so without the push of a, of a record label no I don't think an artist can achieve that on their own. I think that an independent artist can get on that level if they're extremely talented and their home base, their home fan base sticks with them and supports them. I've seen artists get their whole city behind them or two neighborhoods out of a major city behind them and that was enough to carry them successfully on the independent on the independent tip. I've seen that before. But I've also seen artists who are so talented and independent that the rest of their careers, they're tight casted as that artist that's independent and unsigned. And like that not being signed is kind of like the verification that people need to push them over. And I guess my answer to that is to each his own because being signed to me generally, generally tells you where the money source is coming from. And if you're an artist and you're working a nine to five or you're working making you know medium wage or you know minimum wage around there you're not going to be able to keep up with that artist that's signed that's getting two hundred fifty thousand dollars thrown here and there getting billboards showing up in cities he don't even know and yes nothing is impossible man. we got artists like mac miller we got artists like um currency we got artists like tech nine who are doing big things. Artists like my man Merz out of LA who are doing big things. And some of them have deals now, like Currency has a major deal, but these are people who did it independently. And they sell more albums than Homer who got a deal and who you hear on the radio all day. So it's possible. It's just about your movement, man. Your movement ain't a movement if your movement ain't moving. You feel me? Big shout out to Boosie for that. Like, you got artists like Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates charges about $5,500 a show in his book two and three times a week. Every week. So you do the math. That's $15,000, $10,000 a, 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 a week that you don't need no record deal to do. You know what I'm saying? So the internet, and before I say, okay, I, I got the internet is, is a powerful tool, and everybody's cell phones and PDAs is a powerful tool, and basically it's taking a lot of the power out of 
the, the mainstream record labels company and put it back into our hands. Like Strange Music and Tech Nine and all them boys, they selling they selling millions of records with no deal. They getting all they twenty dollars, all the twenty dollars, all the music, all the money and stuff is theirs. So on that on that level, no, he, he's not on 106 and Park. He's not on MTV Jam. He's not on any of it. But he's millions on top of millions in this rap game doing it independently on his own. So you know. What a record company does, like I said before, is if you're already getting paid, they give you some money so they can make some money off of you also. But and those are the advantages that come to, to being signed because there's people in place. They invested in you, so they're going to try to make you hot in as many areas as possible so they can get that return investment. Um, as far as an independent artist, I mean, I know a lot of artists, you know, they got a lot of different types of money streams behind them. Some got family money. Some people, you know, they they get with a different group of people that do other stuff, you know, to each his own. It all depends on how much money is behind you. If you're an independent artist with, with a million dollars behind you, guess what? You're gonna, you know, experience some type of success or some type of curiosity from the crowd as to where this dude money coming from. And that's all they care about. What brand can they associate with? Can they relate to? Can they understand? Can can they get behind and say, you know, this is a brand I'm rocking with. This is an artist I'm rocking with. So um, I guess it's to each his own. Independent people with, with their own cash flow, they can do it. But it, it takes a significant amount of money to become a national artist. It's not just luck. And that's, that's just real. Just because you signed don't mean that your movement is really moving. You could be unsigned and be out here having meetings and in these streets grinding it out, promoting and making sure your stuff. Look, look, listen. Right now, I don't have a major record yet, but I got a video that's spinning on television in rotation. You know what I mean? MTV. I got songs on the radio. The difference is, since I don't have a major record deal, I don't have songs on every radio station around the country. But where I'm at, where I'm from, you know what I mean? Like, I, I have that. I have the internet game, like all of the hip hop, you know, outlets and websites and all that, they mess with D1. So, you know, so they post my content and all that good stuff. This is without a deal. So, you got some artists who have deals, but they don't have a lot of that stuff. I'm about to go on, let me see. I'm about to, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm about to go on a 50 city tour, man. I pray to God you can see these dates. I pray to God your folks is working well, huh? Cause that's 50 cities right there. And only one of them is in Louisiana. Yeah, man. And I'm going on tour in a month. And this right here, this the Focus Tape. Hosted by Manny Fresh, a legend, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't got no major record deal, but I'm dropping this October 9th. It's gonna be free online. And I got a legend like Manny Fresh who did the whole CD for me. Like, that's that independent grind. Yeah, gotcha. So I mean, you don't need a, a, a national record deal to do it. And I, I just I preach that you don't need a deal. Like I said on on the Kevin Gates Make a Believe mixtape, record deal or no record deal, we're gonna continue to work. Like I think Kevin's on, on iTunes sold twenty thousand CDs. Twenty thousand CDs at ten dollars a pop. That's some good money. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people ain't never seen that money all their life. So you know, actually, I'm actually working on an album. And um, shoot, if I can sell 5,000 on iTunes, that's cool. Between my Twitter and, you know, if I can get all my Twitter followers to just give me a dollar, I have 20 racks. Quick, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you don't really need a record deal. Like, stop sitting around, man, I'm waiting on a record deal. Man, I'm waiting on, what you waiting on a record deal for? How many followers you got on Twitter? Multiply that by 10, you know? A thousand CDs cost five, about $500, $550 or something like that. If you got a thousand CDs and you sell each one of those thousand CDs, for five dollars, you made five thousand dollars. Why do you need a record deal? There's nothing that a record deal, a, a record company can do that you can't do for yourself. Now it might take you a little bit longer, but if you get all these, if you get hot, the main thing is getting hot in your city. Once you are hot in your city, you could be rich forever.